Dan Connolly came to us as a ninth grader. He didn't have a lot of muscle on him. He was um, a little bit overweight, as a matter of fact. Probably taller than most kids, but um, uh, he had uh, great, great enthusiasm, great energy. When we first saw Dan play uh, football, we, we thought uh, two things immediately uh, came, came to mind. Uh, this guy's really smart, and uh, this guy has really, really good feet. It was so obvious that uh, he, was, he uh, excelled in those, in those two areas. So he went to a small school in um, southern Missouri. And uh, he came back as a, as a sophomore. You could tell that he had something different than all the other guys, because uh, like I said, Dan probably was not our best lineman ever to come out of here. He had perseverance. He had the knowledge and willingness to do what it took to get to the next level. You just don't see that in a lot of guys. But he had that workman attitude that you, you just don't coach, you don't instill, it comes with them. And uh, it was at that point that I thought, you know, this guy possibly could make it. Inside the five, Dan Connolly, oh a big God. old guard. Oh my goodness. How about that? And if there's anything that, that he learned from me, you do the best you can uh, all the time. Uh, you don't ask for favors. You don't um, ask for preferential treatment. You just go out and work hard, and, and things probably will fall where they need to. You know, you're only going to be a football player for so long, and you really need to act appropriately, you need to represent your family and your organizations uh, in a positive manner, and Dan, and Dan does that. He really does. He's a, great, he's a great kid. The game was made for guys like Dan Carter. That was my path to the NFL.